Five years ago, May 21st, I moved out on my own and into an apartment straight out of college. I wasn't deep into YouTube or home theater yet as I only had 900 subscribers at the time. I didn't have a projector screen or a cushion treatment. The couch was a hand-me-down from a friend and the cat was my sister's. I was starting fresh. $400 a month rent was amazing and it was the perfect start to being in the real world. Within a few months of moving in, I hit my first 1,000 subscribers on the channel and did my very first 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Okay, Pace Guy here, and welcome to a 1,000 subscribers video. Can I get a round of applause? Can I get a hand clapping emojis in the chat? A year later, 2019, everything changed, and I did my first ever home theater tour in this apartment. That is now a tradition and I do it every year. I got my first projector in this apartment and my first girlfriend after college postgraduate. Let's get after it. Did you make sure I wasn't for a bracket or I bought my first car and started making car audio videos, made some friends and connections on the car audio side and started going to car audio shows and competitions. Some of my most viewed videos are car audio related. I've brought subscribers over to get demos of my system in this small apartment home theater. It was a tight squeeze but we had fun, met some amazing Let's people like them. Over and let you guys listen to it and then tell me what you think, alright? <laughs> it's a creepy video for sure. Like her. Twenty-five seconds. It's up. Okay. Malaya, <laughs> can you please tell our audience? Like him. Obviously, far closer. And so, the, there's two things you have to do. One is turn it down. First and foremost, this this level is a lot lower than almost every speaker in here. And like him. And after five years living here and two and a half years of saving up, I'm finally a homeowner and I'm moving out. Welcome to the last home theater tour. While this home theater wasn't in an ideal space, I did have a lot of fun and learned a lot of things. It's not easy building a home theater in a small room, especially a multi-purpose living room like this. One of the things that I looked for in my new house was to make sure that I could have a dedicated living room, a dedicated gaming room, and a dedicated home theater. I no longer want to have everything in one room. I now have the ability to separate all of my gear. This will be awesome, and I promise you, when we get to the new house, things are going to be even better. I've already started packing, but the home theater is the last thing that needs to get packed up, and it's hard. It's my safe haven, it's my home, it's where I've met a lot of you guys right here for home theater. So it's hard to think about moving away and packing all my stuff up, but I gotta remember, there's a lot better coming up at the next home that I bet you guys are excited for. If you're unfamiliar with my home theater, I have a 7.3.4 Dolby Atmos system powered by an Anthem AVM 70 preprocessor, an OSD Audio 5 channel amp, a Sundavo power conditioner, a Crown subwoofer amp, and a Monolith 7X. My floor speakers are Kef R11s with the matching set, 
and my Atmos speakers are the SVS Prime elevations, nice and tidy in the ceiling. Of course, I have my Xbox station that I can't go without either. I have three subwoofers in here too. A Rhythmic G25 HP, a DIY Rhythmic G25 HP, and then right now I'm currently using a Stark SW12 to kind of fill in the rear base. And so I'm really excited to move because I get to take all this equipment and put it into a dedicated home theater. That's what I'm most excited for, but I'm really excited to be able to turn it up. I have three other people who reside in this apartment building, so I have never been able to turn any of my systems up in the last five years that I've been here. And I've had three different systems in this apartment, but finally I get to pack up my Kef R11 system and co, bring it to my own house, my own space, and I can turn it up as loud as I want to. That's gonna make for some really cool videos. Hopefully now having a bigger space means bigger speakers or bigger reviews, more reviews, more partnerships. I'm super excited for the next journey. And like I said, all my gear will be separated. So no more living room home theater. I'm gonna have a dedicated home theater in its own space. I'll be able to go to the living room and talk to my family, talk to my friends. And if I want a game, I have an office now. I'll have a dedicated YouTube studio made for videos, not just standing in front of my projector screen in my living room anymore. It's gonna be great. I can't tell you how many times I've already been to Lowe's and got those little paint cards and try to pick out paint for the walls, think about painting the ceiling, what design do I want to do, measurements, I've already measured the seats and everything in the home theater, measured my desk in the YouTube studio. I've done a lot of pre-planning and concepting what I want to do in my home to make it the best first purchase of my life. And so I'm super excited to bring you guys along, but there's a disclaimer. I'm under 500 subscribers away from being at 30,000 subscribers. And if you guys wanna see my new home theater when I move in about a week and a half, I need 30,000 subscribers. So here's the time now. If you're not subscribed to the channel, there has never been a better time than now to hit that subscribe button and like this video. Because when I hit 30,000 subscribers, I will be doing a full home theater room tour reveal. Until then, you'll never see it. So if you guys are curious of what I'm gonna do next on the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you very soon in the next video. Keep this guy out. Peace. Some cable management that way. Yo, KPS guy here. So, this video is very unexpected. Didn't think I was gonna make a video about this, but I'm struggling. So, the PV4000s, I wanted to make a video today about this, just have them playing and hear what they sound like in the room. And I guess I can still kind of do that. I'm having an issue that I'm sure a lot of people. Yo, keep this guy here. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And as you see, right in front of me is my Yamaha receiver. I have officially got it back, and I wasn't expecting to get it back. I had no idea where it was in transit when I sent it back to Yamaha to get my upgrade. I had no idea what time it would be coming back to me. As this with all glossy finishes on the speakers, you're going to have a lot of fingerprints. So you're going to want to keep this off your hands keep it safe, keep it clean, and they provided a microfiber towel just for that reason.